What is up, my riders? You guys constantly ask, I think you like the workout videos a little bit, but the most common question is, what is your actual routine? What is like, what keeps you motivated? What do you do is like, I guess the full list of everything I do and what do I use for like supplements and stuff. So I'm gonna touch upon all that in this video and try to keep it as short and sweet as possible for you guys. So hopefully you enjoy, make sure to drop a fat thumbs up down below. Uh, we're struggling, but I'm trying to push for the season to get as many giveaways going as possible. We're, we're really far behind as far as like I thought we'd be at, but it's fine. Keep on trucking and show the support guys. So before I even forget this, I wanna show you guys this real quick because I really appreciate the company sending this out. Calm by Wellness is a CBD company that reached out and if you guys can see, I don't know why the sun is doing that today. Calm by Wellness, it's a CBD company and they are apparently very well known according to their website. I have not heard of them yet, but they contacted me for a review of their product. I will be getting to that eventually. This is uh, the CBD pet treats that they sent me for Casey. I told him about Casey's situation and I was like, can you guys just send me a sample pack? Cause I'm curious as to how CBD would work for uh, my dog here. And they sent me a full pack. So shout out to Calm by Wellness. I really appreciate that. Um, they have for dogs, peanut butter flavor and uh, bacon flavor. And the really cool part is this is as, probably as all natural as you can get for the dog, which is good because if your dog has like allergies and stuff, but it needs CBD, uh, that's not the best combination. You want something that's all natural. Um, you can literally, I had my sister smell this because when I opened the bag, I could smell it. It literally smells like cinnamon, nutmeg, and peanut butter. It smells good. It actually smells good. Uh, and Casey absolutely loves them. Uh, I've been giving her them now for two days. And every morning when she knows I'm giving them to her and I open the bag, she starts going nuts and hopping and doing her little dachshund thing. So this is the little rascal that takes them that cannot be quiet. And as I told you guys, she's like back to her normal self. The reason I do um, give her CBD is because she sustained a back injury like five months ago. She like, I guess they said she slightly broke her two lower discs to heal. Uh, by themselves so she had to do cage rest and all that now as you can see she's panting and stuff because she thinks she's back to her old normal self and goes bonkers and tries to play with toys all the time i have this for humans it's cbd strawberry lemonade 17 milligram per serving broad spectrum hemp extract i'll try for you guys as well but i just want to shout out this company thank you how's it smell now if you for the smell of the treats. Do you like them? She's like, uh, are you going to give me some? Oh, she licked her chops. I'll give you a half. Uh, small dogs can have up to two of these. One has really just done the part of like a hemp treat uh, that I would normally give her, which is just hemp, but this is CBD. Uh, but with the added benefit, she doesn't seem to get lethargic during the day because there is other ingredients in the stuff I give her. But here she is begging, so... There's your treat, boo. Casey Dog, the mini wiener. But without any further ado, we're going to get right into the video. For everyone that's like trying to lose fat, body fat percentage, keep uh, track of everything, I would not go by weight alone. Weight has completely destroyed my mindset. Um, my weight always fluctuates. I do know that I actually was gaining unhealthy weight because uh, getting off the antidepressants and everything and then trying all these natural stuff. A lot of natural things I find increase my hunger, like insane. And then I realized that I actually wasn't really helping myself, the stress was getting worse. I have this like stress blister that I can't get rid of. Mental health comes first, so um, be wary of that. And honestly, I truly believe that if you are on uh, an antidepressant and it gives you motivation or something like that, and you're able to power through versus you can stay slightly more skinny without them, but you're not motivated, there's no point. It's hard to tell people that are depressed and stuff to work out. Now that's kind of being a hypocrite because I've been telling you guys that, but um, just look after your mental health. If there's a way that you can find that there's like a healthy supplement or something that helps you, definitely do that. If you're extremely depressed and stuff, uh, the first thing I would say before even working out is reach out to a doctor or something because I'm telling you what, once you find something that helps you, it can motivate you. Even if it slightly makes you eat more, it'll motivate you. And honestly, the lowest I ever weighed was 179. I got down to 179, and guess what that was on? I was on Paxil. 
Um, fun fact, I gained 10 pounds on nothing. Uh, I got off Paxil and just started taking natural things, and in two months, I was up to 195. Now your boy, today, is down to 191, and I'm trying to sway this into um, one of the things you guys do. Keep a journal. I have a journal of every single day, or as many days as I can remember in a row, where I go exactly 12 hours without eating. So I do, I do the intermittent fasting, but... Um, every morning at the same time, as close to the same time as possible, I'll calculate my weight. But then on top, I get a measurement with this bad boy. I measure my thigh at the same point. Then I do chest, bicep, belly. And so far, I have dropped an inch off my thigh, 0.5 inches off my chest, added a 0.5 to my bicep, and cut an inch off my belly in this past week. So that is awesome. You want to see little stuff like that. Bicep is because I stopped working out. I told you guys that already. Um, muscle memory retention, I gained a little bit of that back. My biceps are like 14, 14.5 14 inches before, um, and that's at a non-flex when I measure my arms when I'm working out. Uh, so I, low, I actually got really low because I stopped working out. I probably haven't worked out fully past the video I've showed you guys that, it, that I took like a break of like two weeks that was like absolutely doing nothing but eating um, your boy's coming back around and that's good you want to see uh if you're working out and you're lifting bicep is a good thing even thigh if you're working legs your thighs can increase but you want to keep an eye on your chest your chest should go down if you're uh overweight I'm considered overweight and belly so we are going to get back down to my goal I promise you guys we're going to do that together I'm going to motivate you guys um, second off, my only motivation for the day is pre-workout or coffee. I take this to just get myself started, get a little bit caffeine fix. It's not that much. Uh, I started cutting it back. This is Nitro Surge. This is probably one of the lowest I could find in caffeine. So, uh, I think last time I did chest. I'm going to make sure of this, but we're going to do biceps today. So, I'm going to do you, I'm going to show you guys my bicep, tricep workout. I'll break it down for you very, very simple. Um, bicep day. I normally try to switch it up. There's only so many bicep workouts you can do. There is the straight uh, barbell dumbbells, um, and you can do isolated movements with the dumbbells. Um, I do isolated on my stomach, actually laying flat, um, and then I'll do standing up, and then I'll switch over to hammer curls. Uh, and then with triceps, I usually work uh, the skull crushers seem to be like the only thing that I can get a good movement in them. And then close push-ups, and then sometimes dips. I like to switch it up. That's pretty much all that goes into that. it as short as possible for you that don't want to see like every single time I lift but my common thing is I try to do at least two sets um, two sets of 10 but I've been adding just a superset to the second one uh, if you guys wondered but right now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be isolating my bicep and trying to max it out that's what we're going to be doing <laughs> And then we're gonna switch over to uh, triceps and then I'm gonna take you guys with me because I'm actually running to dunk it with my sister and it snowed. So it looks crazy out. So for any of you guys wondering why I showed my driveway is because that was my cardio for today. So that actually finished off my workout session because I was out there for I don't know how long in combination. I had to dig my sister's car out so we could get coffee. And then I came back and <laughs> had to dig our way back in and I had to help push the car to get the car in the driveway because everything's icy and it's Totally snowy, but we dug out a path for my mom too. Just to say that was like another 30 minute uh, cardio session and I was definitely doing more of lifting than anything. So I was lifting with my legs and arms. 
to push the snow. We got a lot of snow, guys. I think there was like in total, I'd say like five inches of snow. It was a lot. It was actually higher uh, last night before it warmed up today. Now it's like 36, so it's slowly melting. That was a good workout though. And I totally understand that I need to try a lot harder because that was tiring for me. And I'm always thinking like I'm putting in so much effort, but then I realized like that's probably like what other people do it that's probably what people that like have six packs and are jacked do all the time that are my age they're actually going and doing workouts like that that actually like kill you inside and out and that's probably what i should be doing i should probably be going harder so that's even more motivational hopefully you guys got motivation from this video that was the whole point but i love you make sure to be happy stress less i'll see you guys in the next one as always